Hey Z Stars, it's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. I'm like super excited, you guys, because today I'm sharing with you guys one of the things I love, and that's taking selfies. I love photography. So today I'm going to show you all how I get iconic selfies. Now, in case you haven't, follow my Instagram. If you're not following, you've never seen my selfies. They look like this, or this, or this, or this. And a lot of people ask me, hey, Zara, how do you get your selfies like that? Is it witchcraft? No, guys, of course it's not witchcraft. We don't do that over here. <laughs> what we do do is prepare ourselves to take those really fantastic selfies. So I'm going to give you guys all of my secrets in today's video. So stay tuned. But before we get into the video, you guys, please be sure to do the four simple things I always ask you all to do. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you love this kind of content. Please be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. Please be sure to comment down below and let me know if you guys are enjoying this so far. Let me know if you like my makeup. <laughs> let me know if you like my hair. <laughs> Just talk to me. I like to talk to you guys. Interact with me. And last but certainly not least, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time we post a new video. Okay, you guys, let's get right into it. I'm super excited to share all of this with you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the video. Make sure your makeup is ba uh -uh -uh -um -ba -ba. Be sure that your makeup is looking fantastic. Make sure it's crisp, flawless, clean, and without a single imperfection. Personally, I don't think it's a good idea to have a really cakey face of makeup when you're taking selfies, but you do want your skin to look really radiant and flawless. If you're more about the matte life, that's fine too, girl. Just make sure that your matte is not cakey. Make sure that you're looking like one of those lightly sugared donuts, <laughs> as opposed to the glazed donuts that I want to be looking like. Now, I'm sure you guys are like, girl, are you gonna tell us about Actually, I am. This is my perfect selfie makeup. So I have a video about that. I'm going to put it right here. You guys need to check that out if you want to know exactly how to do your makeup to take the perfect selfie. Trust me, you guys. I am flipping the selfie queen. So I've got you covered. Okay, you guys, so tip number two. And again, all of this is before the selfie. What you want to do is make sure that your makeup is not too busy. Unless, of course, you're a makeup artist and you really want to feature a vibrant, unique look. For me, I like to have one focal point in my makeup. Usually, if I have a bold lip, my eye is going to be very relaxed. So you can see this eye is not too busy. If I have freckles, I'm probably going to have just a bold lip with a neutral eye. If my eye is busy, I like to have my lip be a bit more demure. Now, I'm not a new lip babe like that like that but I might do my clear glossy lip or a subdued kind of glossy nude lip that fits my FXR vibes <laughs> Now I enjoy adding freckles because it adds interest to the makeup without making it look too busy. And I know that, you know, some people naturally have freckles, but hey, that's what's fun about makeup. You get to play with your looks. And I really enjoy playing with my looks without changing the shape of my face. Now that's another thing. Your makeup should enhance, but not dramatically change the way that you look. I like to focus on makeup that accentuates my features as opposed to hiding them or changing them into another shape. Number three, choose an outfit that complements your skin tone girl or guy and make sure that it's not too distracting. That's super duper important. You don't want your outfit to take the attention away from you. If people look at the selfie and the first thing they look at is your outfit as opposed to your eyes, then there's a problem. Even if they look at your lips before your eyes, it's better. But people should be looking at you, not your outfit. The outfit should be an accessory, not the focal point. That's super important, you guys. Number four, be sure to wear jewelry that is simple if your outfit is a bit busier or you can wear a statement earring statement necklace not together one or the other if your outfit is very simple remember you are the focal point of the image and you want to be sure that there are not too many things to focus on so if there are several elements you want it to be two to three elements as opposed to five six seven that will confuse the image and make it a bit too busy unless you like that kind of look but these are just some really great tips to ensure that the selfie is all about you and nothing else <laughs> 
wear colors that complement each other. Okay guys, I know this is really extra and everybody has different tastes, but something that's very aesthetically appealing is to wear colors that complement one another. So if you're going to wear a red orange, the opposite of that color on the coat will I think will be around an olive green, one of the greens somewhere. Those colors complement each other very well and draw the eye to the image. So wear colors that complement one another. Be sure though not to do too many colors unless of course you like that. But the reason why I recommend this is because you don't want to stress the eye. You want to make sure that the photo zooms into you essentially. You want to make sure that the eye is immediately drawn to you. Again, that's like everything that this keeps going back to you guys, that you are the focal point of the image. Number six, practice in the mirror and know your angles. You better be up in that mirror like, Know what works really well for you. Now guys, I don't know, I'm kind of extra. I do practice in the mirror so I can make sure that I'm not looking extra crazy. Now the other reason I do that is because sometimes certain photographers take my picture so I need to make sure I know how to, you know, kind of pose my face so I don't look like a flounder out of water. That's really important. So that's also extremely helpful for selfie. We're gonna get into why that's really helpful. You guys will see in a second. The next tips are all about your environment. Let's get right into them. Choose an environment that is beautiful but not distracting. It can be a really nice wall, a scenic nature background, a vibrant cityscape, and make sure that the environment does not cut through you or cut you off in any funny way. Now, I actually learned this from one of my favorite YouTubers videos, Sorrel Amor. Now, she suggests that you make sure that you're not taking a selfie where a pole is cutting through you or the horizon is cutting through you. All of that looks really awkward. Make sure that you're either underneath the horizon or above the horizon. Now, Number eight, no bathroom selfies. While bathroom selfies are fantastic, if you really want to arrest your audience and create art with your selfies, I would say get rid of them entirely. I'm not about it. You can put them on your Insta story, but don't put them on your feed. The alternative to a bathroom selfie is to have a really nice mirror in the corner of your room or some other really great location that shows a really beautiful environment. And then you could take your mirror selfies there. Now here are some examples. These are beautiful examples of the right way to take a mirror selfie, but I do not recommend taking your mirror selfies in your bathroom unless your bathroom is really posh and tush and sexy and yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that corner tip though, you guys. It will give your mirror selfies a lot of class and character. You might consider graying your background if it's too busy. I personally don't like to do that because my feed is all about vibrant color, but this is a great way to keep the focus on you and a lot of influencers do it. It's super, super trendy right now. So you might consider doing it. Another way to ensure that your background is not distracting is to make sure that the background has colors that are all in the same family and you're like the odd thing out so you stand out. Or the background could be one of the the elements that draws the eye to the image. These are all really great options for a very cohesive and eye-catching selfie. Try to avoid people in the background of your selfie. <laughs> if it's a group selfie, that's a bit different because all of you are the focal point. But if you're the one taking the selfie and there's some random bypasser, that is not cute, you guys. Try to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> it's better to have a large crowd behind you or nobody behind you. If there's a large crowd behind you, you'll still stand out because everyone is moving together while you're separated from the group. If there's nobody behind you, I mean, you're the only person in the image, so that's why force people have to look at you. That's just way better than having one to two or three random people just in your photo. Nix that. So you guys, the next tips are about during the selfie. Use your back camera. I cannot stress this enough, you guys. That is so super important. My selfie game completely leveled up when I started using my back camera. And let me just tell you, I was a back camera struggler. I was a noob, but by the grace of our God and also by practice, your girl was able to master the back camera. So yes, prayer and practice are what helped me to get really popular with the back camera. Now, would you believe that I'm still using only an iPhone 7 Plus and my selfies look the way that they look? I know it's a bit hard to believe, but it has everything 
nothing to do with the fact that I'm using my back camera, you guys. I will stress this until the end of time. You do not need a professional camera to take Bayan selfies. All you need is the right knowledge and a really decent phone camera. Number 12, shoot from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. or 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., you guys. Oh my gosh, these are the golden hours. This will give you that like magical glow that everyone's always looking for. This is how I get that magical glow in all of my selfies. Be sure to shoot during those periods. Now, essentially number 12 is about lighting because we're shooting at these hours to ensure that the sun is at the right place in the sky. It's not too high, causing any awkward shadows. You know what I mean? So lighting is key. Be in that sun, facing it or in the shade during those periods and trust me your selfie game will actually just gather life for everyone number 13 when you're getting ready to take your selfie be sure to practice with your front camera so you know your angles it'll also allow you to figure out whether or not the angle of the background is good or not and it will also allow you to be sure that your makeup and your hair are still on level 1 million <laughs> number 14 take a ton of photos I cannot stress this enough take like hundred and one photos hundred and one different ways it will allow you to have plenty to choose from and you'll definitely at least have one good selfie in there trust me you guys there are actually times when i've taken like a hundred selfies and literally only two of them have been up to par by my standards so it's really important to take a lot of photos especially if you're extremely picky like me number 15 put your shoulders back and stand up straight make sure that you're standing upright it will show in your selfie you may not be photographing all of your body but we'll definitely see whether or not your posture is popping and think ballerina teens you guys if you're thinking like a ballerina your neck especially will be long and graceful and that's really important if you want to take those model selfies another tip be sure to put your chin up a little bit and then you poke your head out and chin down if you want to get that perfect straight on selfie for me I like my selfies more like this or like this be sure to work your angles and hold the phone in front of you like this. So this is too high. I hold it just a little below my chin. This is the perfect height for taking a selfie with your back camera. And then of course I push my shoulders back and then I pose like I normally would. But this is one of the most important techniques I learned for taking flawless selfies. This is pretty foolproof and this is why my selfies look fantastic all the time. Also be sure not to tilt your phone. If you tilt it, your face is gonna be distorted and your proportion will look a bit odd now I personally like the way I look I'm not trying to change that so I make sure to capture myself the way I see myself in my mirror that's super important now from doing what I've told you guys to do with your camera you're going to be able to capture yourself the way you see yourself in your favorite mirror use the side button boo boo and click 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 away now it doesn't make sense if you're using your back camera to try and use the touch button that's a lot of stress so be sure to use your side button I always use it and it's made my selfie process much much easier Easier. I used to try and use the touch button. I don't know what I was thinking, but then I started using the side button and everything changed. Number 18, be creative. That's the most important thing to taking a bomb selfie. Sure, it's great to see selfies that are just like, wow, that's a really pretty girl. But if your selfies have a focal point and maybe two to three elements along with the focal point, then your selfies will be a lot more interesting and more artistic. I think a lot of people like my selfies maybe because they like the way I look, but they're also quite different because they're really vibrant. There are usually some interesting elements and I try to have fun and show a bit of my personality with the way that I take my selfies. So that's really important, you guys. Be creative, but remember to be a bit within the rules. They're there for a reason. They will help you to keep yourself as the focus of the selfie. So I wanted to give you all a bit more of a behind the scenes look. And basically I'm just looking around trying to figure out where I'm going to be. So I found this <laughs> pile of bricks and I was like, okay, this looks pretty good. And the sun's hitting me in the right place. So I squatted so I could have this pile of gray bricks in the background. And yeah, this is what we got up to. Now it was kind of a struggle. Selfie time is not always the easiest time, but it's totally worth it. So this is where I hit my groove, y'all.
so the last tip is for after the selfie and that's number 19 and that is to edit your selfie now you don't want to edit it and make yourself look like a completely different human being what you want to do is polish an already beautiful image now i'm a photography enthusiast and what i strive to do is take pictures that are already really fantastic and merely polish them when i work on them now i do the same thing with my selfies i try to take pictures that are already like wow this girl is gorgeous or, wow what a beautiful selfie this is seriously beautiful so amazing ah. and on and on and on <laughs> but following that i make sure to polish it fine tune it just to make it that much better now a lot of people are like oh my gosh no filters, no Like, okay, do you guys want a cookie? That's great. It's good for you that you like to do no filters or no edits on your photos, but that shouldn't make any of you who want to edit your photos feel bad. I mean, my Instagram is my portfolio. It's my art page. So I actually enjoy making my selfies look as fantastic, ethereal, as unique as possible. That's something that I'm all the way about. So you shouldn't feel bad if you want to edit your selfies. But again, I personally would not recommend trying to make yourself look like someone that you're not. Part of the beauty of my Instagram is that when people see me in person, they're like, wow, you're even more lovely in person. That's like the most flattering compliment anybody could ever give me. But the reason why they're able to say that is because I try to make myself look like myself every time I capture myself or edit my captures. So yeah, guys, don't be ashamed of your selfies. Don't be ashamed of editing your selfies. So yeah, you guys, I know that you're probably like, okay, girl, next video, how you edit those bottom selfies? Well, before I put that type of video, <laughs> I need you guys to help get this channel to 100 150,000 subscribers. Now it's definitely doable and I believe in you all. You guys have been supporting me for a long time and I'm sure that we can make it there. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with all of your friends, share it with anybody who's interested in this type of content and let's get our subscribers up so that we can do a lot more interesting things. I really sincerely hope that this has added something to you all and I hope that you love this. Let me know in the comments down below. Would you like to see a volume two? Is there anything that I left out? Let me know. Let's share together so that we can all take bomb selfies and i'm looking forward to sharing with you guys more of these things that i love this has been really exciting for me and this is totally new territory for me so i'm glad that we're getting into this and i can't wait to do more of this so in the meantime you guys follow me on twitter and follow me on instagram i share a lot of my photography and my selfies and other types of things there so if you want to see more of those just you know follow me on those two platforms and before we go i'd like to remind you guys to please give this video a big thumbs up let YouTube know you enjoy this content. Again, share this video with anybody you think would love to see this type of video. Be sure to comment down below all of the things we talked about talking about. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, subscribe to this channel and turn your notifications on if you haven't already, guys. Oh my gosh. So that you know every time we post a new video. In the next coming weeks, I'm going to definitely be sharing a lot of my how to's, how do I do this? How do I make my photos look like this? How do I get my hair like this? So I want to just show you guys how I live my life, how I do the things that I do, how I express myself. And I hope that these are the things that you guys enjoy seeing down the line. Anyway, you girls rambling. So let me get off right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. I love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful to have you as a part of this channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, my Z stars. I love you.